Okay, folks, thank you for joining me today. I'm going to try and give you a bit of an overview of the project and show you the different neighborhoods of Baja Montecito where we're going to be offering lots now. But if we look up the canyon here, this is El Rinconcito Verde, and this is a 54 acre park that goes up the canyon, around the corner, back and around this hill, up this hill. And we have, I'm going to show you in a map in a minute, we have then a children's park we're setting up here, which is part of Baja Montecito, but we will open it to the public during certain hours. So we're right now at this gate into Baja Montecito, the chain, which will be a sliding electric gate, which we're actually just starting on now. So we are, if we look at this map, the big yellow section is the park I was just describing, um, El Rinconcito Verde, which means a uh, little green corner of the, of the planet. And here's the children's park right in here. And this blue line represents the bottom of the canyon that we were just looking up, kind of the watershed. And then we're going to be, this, this uh, gate is here, and we're going to be walking up this road via Toriana. And those are Toriana pines, uh, uh, Tori pines planted on the left side of the road, peppers on this side, and we'll show you a little bit more. But this first neighborhood is, this defined by this side is, is Toriana. And this one is just four lots. It's three bigger lots and then one one uh, medium-sized lot and maybe they'd be used more for agricultural because they're bigger and uh, but they also have great views so people that maybe want a bigger house a bigger uh, project uh, or you buy smaller ones more of the smaller ones so we're gonna walk up this road now and show you uh, the, up here some views and then over here okay so we've come up just maybe 150 meters up the road and we're at the branch now looking up and now we're looking up the other watershed this this small blue uh, line represents the other watershed and now the ridge with the bigger lots is on our right and off to the left is some other lots that are across the top of this hill and we're seeing just the round of the road up at the top there and we're seeing our new road in in here which goes up and and uh, connects in with this road and then goes up the rest of our our uh, La Seta so uh, we're going to now walk over to this point. These lots this way will be looking back and that's out to the ocean that way. If you keep panning around, we'll also see uh, Rancho Bosque Encantado. That's where, where we live. Okay, so now we are uh, standing at a point between lots 9 or 10 and 11 we're kind of on this turn right here and if you look up the road we're going to be redoing the section making it wider and then it curves back in and then we have a new road that cuts across that comes out somewhere in the middle here and goes on across and you see it has lots coming down off of the road and then there's lots coming down off the road from that you can see if, if you turn around what the view is here everybody has the same view pretty cool that's the little town of Esteban Cantu. That's Ensenada off in the distance. And we're looking across the Todos Santos Bay. Okay, um, if you can see my pointer, we're, we're looking north now. And uh, Ensenada is kind of in the fog from here to here. And then the Todos Santos Island is just popping out from around the mountain there. And the, the little town of Cantu is below us. So we're looking down the road. We're on the Z road now. and. We're at this point, let me show you on the map. And the map is set up with the north going the direction it is. So we're now, we came across here, we walked down to this point and now we're back up here. So we're re between 31 and 27 in lots. And then down below the road, this is the set, I mean the Z road, down below it are 24, 25, 26, running like this. So we're looking up at 31, this is 27. And then across the hill, they run. So these are the views that all the lots have. And on the map, we are at this turn here, where we walked up La Seta. This is the road we were down here before. Now we've walked up and we're on this turn. And so we're looking, we can look out towards the east here and towards Cincinnati. And if we look towards the water, then uh, we're looking at 26, 25, 24, the lots that run along the road here that are cut down this way here. And remember, the road will be repaired and made wider and easier to navigate. 
Okay, now we're looking east out to Maniadero. And then below us is the wetlands. That's the backside of the bay here. And we're on lot 27 and 31, right at the convergence of the two where the road meets up. Okay, um, here we are. We're at on this road still, and we're at this corner of t uh, 31, 27, and we're gonna look up the road. So 28 and 29 and 30 are on our right, and 31 and 32 are on our left. So if you look up the road, that's the road. And this is the part that's of 28 that has the little curve in it. Here we are the next morning, and we've come up the road now, and we were going this way, and we now, we would just went back past uh, 31, 32, and we're standing right here. So there's lots 30, 33, and there actually could be one cut here too off the road. And if we look this way, you'll see, even though the hills are steep, there are cuts in, so you can cut out a lot and have this view. So we're looking now towards Ensenada, which because it's uh, almost June, we're in May gray, and then comes June gloom. But during the spring and fall, it's just an amazing deep view out to the ocean. So this is a kind of a cool place up here on the road, which will be improved quite greatly before we actually have the houses built. Now we're, we've come up the road. We were last on this turn here. Now we're up at this turn. And amazingly, it's not that windy. You know, you can see now there's almost no wind. And usually we see a breath of wind in the, in the summertime. It's enough just to keep you a little bit cool. And now we're headed up towards the area where we're gonna have a little town center and the orphanage and the senior housing, which goes sometime in the near, near to far future. Now uh, we are up this way. We've come to this turn. And so we're on this side of the road and we're looking across the orphanage property. And you can see it's flatter here. And there's about five acres of much flatter land. So that's why we've planned this senior housing and orphanage right in this area, which is the Pueblo. Because we also see like a, an area in between with maybe a cafe and a little art gallery and places that people can hang out. And we're hoping, of course, that they mix and that they're, the orphanage has a lot to do with raising kids in, an, in a growing forest and teaching them a lot about environmental studies. But that's a whole other subject. Over on the other side of the road start lots that look down the canyon into the park below. So they go from the road again, which will be improved. So those would be the lots that are 35, 36, all the way up through 46. You know, these 10 lots or so that run along that ridge. Now we're up on the road. We've just crossed over. We're over in this area. We're up in probably around 38, 39. And these lots, you can see, go over to the road. Then they have this kind of flat area and then they dip down over the hills. So then we'll have a trail that winds down the canyon into the park below. Now we've come up the hill, we came up this long straight, we've come past here, and we're at the very corner of the property. You'll see there's a little neighborhood that's been developed and is developing behind us. And what we're doing is we're cutting a new road for them to go out that way. So it'll, they're actually be closer to where they want to get towards Ensenada and Maniadero going east. And then no one will really want to come down our road. Then we improve our road and we make it uh, much more uh, travelable, travelable. <laughs> so that's that. You can see we're at this upper corner. Okay, now we're up on top of the hill and the hill is kind of like the high point is in the middle here. These lots are on a flatter, more gentle slope down to the flats where the senior center and orphanage eventually will be. So this is called Los Altos, which means the, the heights. So this area will have a new road that goes out and then down to the uh, flats below, out down the canyon behind us. So the people that live and in, in, uh, buy lots up in this area will have the option of either coming up our road or coming in through the back road and coming in through the second gate. We'll have a, a gate here, which is almost like a fire escape as well. 
and then the main gate down there will actually have three gates. One where we came in, where we, we originally came in yesterday afternoon and we're showing you lots in this area. And then we also have a gate that will go out down this way. It'll be right at the bottom of the property where it goes out below. And here we are at the top of the property and we're walking around in this area here to show you we're on the top of the hill and we can look back at the little community that's behind us and then down at our views, kind of blocked by some of the weeds right now or these bushes. But you can see that the, the land up here is a lot less steep. It's more gentle. I like steep lots, actually. They, they afford uh, a certain kind of construction with incredible views and terraced gardens and that kind of thing. But uh, here it's a little flatter up at the top. So for those of you that were interested in seeing the project where it is right now and the lots we have uh, to offer, I hope this has given you at least an introduction and we will be doing updates as time goes on to make it more clear. And uh, I really appreciate your time to watch this video and we will have others and we'll also be doing some instructional videos on on green construction so stay tuned and check out our website at uh, I think you see it on the screen <laughs> thanks mm -hmm.